Hello and welcome to the video. In this video we're going to talk about KERMA and radiation dose. So let's start with some important definitions. TERMA is the total energy released per unit mass. KERMA is the kinetic energy released to charge particles only per unit mass. And collision KERMA, which is the kinetic energy released and locally absorbed along the charged particle tracks per unit mass. And just to go into a few more details, let's say we have a photon beam that's coming into a medium and there's all these events that are happening and the energy that's being uh, transferred, basically that total energy released is terma. And that can be subdivided into kerma, uh, which is the kinetic, kinetic energy released to the charged particles only, uh, and then energy that's imparted to the non-charged non particles. So for instance, uh, like Raleigh coherent scattering, and also the um, Compton photons would also be included in that. Um, KERMA, though, is more important for dose calculation uh, and for, you know, the definition of dose, and that can be subdivided into collision KERMA, so that's the energy, like once that's kinetic energy is released to the charged particles, that's basically the energy that's absorbed along the charged particle tracks, right? These are like the, all the collision events along the track, and then the other portion of that would be the radiative losses of those charged particles, so bremster lung interactions, um, and we would call that actually uh, radiative kerma or kerma sub R. And of course, um, also important is karma. Uh, and good karma is important for life, but maybe not so much for dose calculation. All right. Uh, this table uh, shows the relationship between these terms that we've been talking about, terma, kerma, collision kerma, and the uh, the attenuation coefficients for the photon beam. So uh, we have the mass attenuation coefficient, which is related to terma. So you think about when you think about like narrow beam geometry, where your any any scattered event is taking that photon out of the beam. Um, you're talking about terma, right? So anything that happens, even if it's just like a you know coherent scattering or you know the Compton photon, still that's all kind of taken out of the beam and, and that, that's all included in terma, right? That's your mass attenuation coefficient. Uh, then there's kerma, which in, is the mass energy transfer coefficient and collision kerma, which would be the mass energy absorption coefficient. All right, let's look at an example, uh, example case and how it relates to these terms. So here we have a photon that comes into a volume of interest V, so that original photon is H nu one and there's a Compton interaction that occurs. And during that Compton interaction, an electron is set in motion and given kinetic energy T, and there is a resulting um, Compton photon, H nu 2. And once that electron goes about its path, um, within the volume, it's giving some of its kinetic energy through collisions, uh, and there's um, and then there's two bremster lung interactions that occur, one that happens within the volume, one that happens without, outside of the volume. All right, so looking at this, we can, th this series of interactions for this uh, original photon, we can then define terma, kerma, collision kerma, even radiative kerma uh, for this situation. Uh, so let's, let's take a look. So terma, which is the total energy released per unit mass, this is going to be basically, you have that photon that comes in and it gives some of its energy for that to the electron so that energy is included and then also it sets in motion another photon uh, that's going to be taken out of the you know if you have like a a, a, a beam that's coming in basically that's going to be removed from narrow beam geometry so t it's going to also be included in terma so terma equals t plus h nu 2 which is equal to the energy of h nu 1. Kerma is basically now going to be equal to that kinetic energy given to the electron, right? And whatever happens after that uh, doesn't really matter for kerma. It's all uh, part of of kerma. And but then we can subdivide that into collision kerma and radiative kerma, right? So collision kerma is going to be basically the energy that is along that path of that electron that's going to be absorbed by the collision events uh, within the medium. And and uh, but not necessarily within the volume, right? So that's going to be um, uh, T minus H nu three and H nu four, which are the those are the Bremster lung interactions. So it's basically that that energy that is not radiated away 
that is uh, absorbed along the path that you know, of that the, cl the collision paths along that electron path. All right, and then radiative kerma is going to be the opposite. It's going to be the the portion of kerma that is not uh, collision events but radiative events. So H nu three and H nu four. What about dose? Well, dose is going to be uh, first. Now we've had to define the volume, right? So we have the volume V, and we're we're uh, we want to know what the dose is to volume V. Well, in this case, it's going to be the it's basically the energy that's absorbed within that within that volume, right? So it's going to be T, which is the kinetic energy given to the electron, minus the residual energy when it left that volume. So that's T prime, and also minus the radiative losses, which would be H nu three, which was also lost within the volume and, and escaped outside the volume. Um, and just to note, all of these here, I have these uh, definitions down here. This is just the energy portion. Technically, these are all per unit mass. Um, but yeah, this is just the energy that would be included in that. Um, so as you can see from this, uh, if we wanted to have a simple relationship between like collision kerma and dose, uh, we don't really have that here because some of the some of the energy is escaping outside of the volume. So um, we need something else called charged particle equilibrium, which will simplify the relationship between collision kerma and dose. And we'll get into that in a, in a, in a separate video. All right. Thank you.